good afternoon friends uh today 1st february 2023 the budget today put in by uh, sitaraman last budget before election uh, 2024 and people were expecting that it would be a populist budget but it was not so uh I'm going to discuss MC and Nitin Patak Isaka chapter. I was a past president. Uh, the this uh, PPT would be available on blog also, uh, and uh, PPT would be available on blog at C N Nitin Patak blogspot dot in. Any feedback, any query regarding income tax GST, you can just email. We will guide you. There will be detailed discussion on each qua section by section for. CA community or uh, tax fraternity community would be discussed on 8th, which are going to be son uh, Hiran Patak is going to talk on same on GST indirect tax. He would be giving detailed explanation. Any query regarding recent amendment, you can just email on this number. We will guide you on the subject. With this, we are going to talk on today's subject called uh, I'm going to talk on mainly on income tax. Then I'll be discussing how India is going to step up in the time to come. And uh, this is how I'm going to talk on the budget. Uh, and uh, according to me, this is a very meticulously prepared budget as had been in the past. And this is growth oriented. And uh, India's economy has grown very fast. According to me, people were expecting that India would be and uh, number one in 2024 uh, to 2046. But according to me, it would go even faster than even we thought of it. The way development is going on, the way youth is want to work on it, the whole uh, whole Puri uh, uh, India ko aage lane ke liye hai. With this, my opinion on India, and China and USA are competing with us. There are many other countries, Vietnam, Bangladesh, many more countries are competing with us, but we have some unique advantage. And let's wish that India grow up as fast as we thought of it. With this, I'm going to, first I'll talk on some income tax provision. Then I would be talking some of the key aspects of the budget, which is being taken care by the Sitaraman. First, I will talk about income tax provision, which has been discussed by Sitaramanji. Okay, with this, I'm going ahead. Any question? Uh, In-depth analysis uh, is I'm going to talk on eighth, not on eighth, or not on fourth. Uh, Amrut Kal budget. Our vision is this seventh. We are going to talk on Zoom by Hiran Patak at six thirty Tuesday. This is ID our, in our blog. There would be uh, a link which would be available. You can register. So this any query is most welcome. On it, we are going to work on uh, the same. On oral, I'll be talking each section by section for income tax only. Not on GST, not on economy. I'm a past president of Isaka chapter Ahmedabad. Economic survey, I'll, uh, I'll put a slide on that. If time permit, I'll talk about economic survey later on, not on this talk. With this, I'm starting uh, this talk. Uh, Sitaraman has made five major changes in the personal income tax. First thing is, first he says that there would be a change in the slabs. Change in the slab is like zero to, there are old regime and new regime, zero to three, a new, new tax slab for new regime, zero to three, no tax, 3 to 6, 5%, 6 to 9, 10%, 9 to 12, 15%, 12 to 5, 15, 20%, and above 15, uh, 30%. What's he saying? That this, the first first the first one concerns the rebate. Currently, those with income tax up to five like do not have to pay tax, both in new and old regime. I propose to increase, he proposed to increase the new regime to 7 lakh. Thus, person having seven lakh in new regime does not have to pay any tax. The slaves have already spoken on that, and this will provide a major relief to all projects in new, new regime with an individual income, which is nine lakh. 
now would be required to pay only 45,000. According to new regime, if your income is 9,000, 9 lakh, you have to pay only 5% of your income. That is 45,000. 45, Thus, there would be a reduction of 25% as in the as in the old scheme. You, as in the old tax lab, you have to pay 60,000. Similarly, if you are paying an income of 15 lakh, now, uh, now there would be a reduction in tax pay by 20% from existing liability of 1,87,500. So this is a populist budget by which they have reduced the tax rate for new new slabs. This new slab for new regime, for old, there would be old scheme. This is the way they have formatted and given a uh, few concessions, though not populist, but somehow uh, she needs to do. She needs to do so something that uh, they would reduce the rate. That is how they for salary class. They have extended for salary, family pension, and for all these people, they have introduced. They have given it standard benefit of a base fifty two thousand five hundred for salary employee income above fifteen five point five lakh. Thus, there would be a reduction in some tax for salary class people. And the fourth amendment, according to her, is she reduced the uh, surcharge because of reduction in surcharge. Uh, uh, there would be uh, the previously the surcharge was thirty seven percent. Now surcharge is reduced to twenty five percent. Because of that, there would be reduction in the gross tax, highest tax over forty two point. 5% now this result into maximum rate of 39%. So there would be a reduction in the rate on highest tax paid employee qua uh, because of reduction in surcharge. Lastly, the limit of rupees 3 lakh for tax for leave in cashment. Previously, there was a leave in cashment of 3 lakh for 10, for 10 months were available, but this was fixed in 2002. Now they will reduce the leave in cashment limit to 25 lakh. Uh, now we are also making the new interview as a default regime. Now everyone who has a business income cannot change the tax regime. Those other than business income can change the tax regime. Default regime, if you don't mention anything, default regime would be new regime. If you file a return in old regime, you have to continue. Only suddenly other than business class have an option each year, twice year to choose it. But if you have a business income, you cannot change it. Once you go to a new scheme, you cannot go to old scheme back. So because of that, some 1,000 rupees tax deduction, I'm not going to tax on that. Before going into the other, other things, let me conclude. Uh, let me go the question answers which he has given. This new and old regime would be applied to individual HUF, AOP, BUI, and AJP. Okay. Once you have selected, which I already covered, 5-10% already said, residues of totaling up to 5 lakh do not, residue with totaling up to 5 lakh do not have to pay tax due to rebate under both and old regime. So now up to 5 lakh, you don't have to pay it in old and new, 7 lakh in case of new regime. Standard act of 50,000 to an individual would be available, which was not available. The family pension 50,000 is currently only under the old regime. It is provided, both the cases now allowed to this. Deduction. Suppose somebody is receiving a family pension under the old regime, you are not entered for. They say that it will be allowable under both the cases. Surcharge we have already discussed here, and cashment I already discussed. Now they have changed, made a change in the MSAB provision. Suppose Reliance is making a Reliance is a purchase of goods from MSME. Say on 31st uh, March 2023. And he doesn't make a payment before filing a due date of return. And so he, he the reliance will not be entitled for MSME payment. So what they're saying, if you don't make a payment to MSME, you are not entitled to in, include as a deduction under the purchase. Okay, Agni Pass scheme, which is very, very few people, I don't go into that. In MSME, there are other advice, other scheme also. MSME, the, there is a presumption taxation. Uh, on two lakh two crore now it has been increased to three crore, and for professor person whether with a fifty lakh it been increased to seventy five crore seventy five lakh. In both the cases, your receipt in in cash should not be more than five percent. Otherwise, you will not be entitled for presumptive taxation. There is one more scheme which is introduced. 
here for MSME is that because of COVID or for some reason there is a dispute between MSME and government or government and organized enterprise, in that case you would be entitled for arbitration or the settlement scheme. Those whose security deposits are something forfeited because of COVID, you don't you could not make the payment. Now you'll be entitled for making the payment under MSME. So they want to increase, they want to support MSME in this way. So our cooperative society was demanding that certain payments were not made before 1617. And because of that, cooperative society was not able to use these things. They've been given a special exemption for sugar cooperative society. Sugar Cooperative Society can withdraw up to cash rupees 3 crore for which no TDS will be deemed. The sugar corn lobby is so strong that they are able to take this advantage of this. 2 lakh, generally you can, uh, any payment made to any pun, if it is more than this under section 26090, but there is an exemption if you make a payment, cash loan or transaction between primary cooperative society and a member, 2 lakh exemption would be there. And the, in the case of a startup, the condition of continuity of at least 51% of settling for settling of credit for losses is relaxed to eligible start. All those at present, relaxation is losses has been up to seven years. Now it has been increased to 10 years. Extend startup date has been increased from 1st April to 1st April 2001. One year is extended for promoting the startup. Gold to, if you are converting your gold into e-gold or e-gold into this, you don't have to pay capital gain tax. Incentive for IFSC, IFSC means gift city or something. They have been extended from 31st March 2023 to 31st 2025. Ex Development is proposed for extension of anything to body of trust or service for state, state act, which is not applicable to strategic disinvestment. This is regarding IDB, IDB strategic disinvestment. You'll be con continue to do that. The many new manufacturing cooperative society. There would be a 15% tax were available to new company establish manufacturing equity. But now they say that it would be equally allowable to in case of even cooperative society. Ease of claiming deduction of every preliminary expenditure. I'm not going into that. Presumptive taxes and two crore, which I've already covered in my discussion. Extended tax of deduction, lower or nil rate is the proposed that taxpayer to obtain. A certificate of deduction at source or no if on which the tax is under section 194 LAB by business trust. So, one more provision to be followed. Why didn't it be in TMR? It is proposed to extend deemed income accrual provision relating to sum of money exceeding 50,000 to from non resident without a consideration to a non, non not ordinary resident. So, there is a provision that if you receive money exceeding rupees 50,000 you are liable for presumptive detection under deemed income. This would be applicable to resident to non-resident. It is proposed to omit a provision of allow exemption of new agency set up in India collects only to receive income by business trust. I'm not going to, to TDS. It is proposed to withdraw the exemption of TDS current level of interest and payment to listed dementors. As your listed dementors coach or TDS ni katnasa that has been withdrawn. With a presumption scheme non-resident is proposed to disallow carry for several losses computed. It is with respect to presumed for non residents proposed to disallow carry forward or set of losses in case of presumptive income. Non resident will not be allowed to use a presumptive taxation. For online games, online games, where is, so I give you an example of uh, people playing a Dream India. So, what is happening? You are playing a daily game or every game you are playing. So in that case, uh, you are earning one day, you are losing another day. Or you are earning continuously. But what they're saying at the end of the year, or when you withdraw some money from that, if that at, on that day of withdrawal at the end of the year, if there's income, there would be TDS would be applicable. So there won't be a TDS in between every time. Because nowadays, because of this, this Dream India, and there are many lottery games are available in that. Crossword puzzle, This this would be available in this there is there would be a tcs when anyone sending money above rupees seven lakh to non-resident other than for education purpose there would be a deduction of 20 percent and in, in case of uh, in case of uh, education loan it would be 0.5 percent 
tricks on capital gain can be avoided by investing proceed of gain rule with 10 crore. There is a limitation which has been put. Pele, there is no limit. Now it has put a limit of 10 crore in case of 54, 54 exemption. The income of market is proposed to be short-term gain at applicable rate. You leap any insurance payment made by you beyond file act for insurance policy if it any other than a ULI policy if it is above file lakh like, up to file lakh like you would be getting an exemption above file lakh like, whatever difference between amount paid by you and amount received will be liable for tax so there would be people paying so much money on insurance would be reduced because there would be a tax planning which was done by them so this is a plug made by them. It is proposed amount of competing capital gain on joint development property to include the amount received through check as a consideration. So sometimes you are receiving some money from the development agreement. This would be made liable for tax, even though you receive in any other name, whatever name you say, you have to pay tax on that. With interest on borrowed capital acquiring improving property, subject to something can be claimed as reduction for income. It can also be included in the cost of acquisition improvement by reducing capital gain. It is proposed where the cost of acquisition cost of improvement shall not include the amount of interest claimed early as a reduction. So when I I buy a <coughs> <laughs> I buy a residential house and out of which uh, the interest income is I have claim as a deduction then I cannot claim as an improvement and in expenditure also you can get either of these two <laughs> there are certain as a like India right for me no consent in paid equation transfer case this is already covered <laughs> I got some right for which is in my intangible asset for which I don't made a payment. The consideration would be considered as nil. This is a clarification amendment. <laughs> Interim board of settlement, I don't go into that expenditure. There are so many things are uh, they've covered. It is proposed really minimum time period required to provide transfer pricing officer within the production document in 10 days information from 30 days to 10 days. So when it comes to transfer pricing, the date of submission of document is reduced from 30 days to 10 days. It is provided appeal against the penalty order passed by Commissioner under certain acts. Before appeal, it is proposed to provide that the order is exclusive to the basic commission and any rectification order shall shall also be applicable before appeal. Further, it is proposed to enable filing of memorandum of cross objection. The cross objection is allowed also in case of a penalty proceeding. It is proposed under 132 of the act dealing with search and to allow authorized person officer to take assistance of specific domain expert like digital professional services like uh, lock, locksmith carpenter this is the course of also to add an accurate accurate estimated of any during the form of during the search and seizure uh, the assessing of the authorized officer can take the expert advice including carpenter locksmith etc which was which is a clarificatory amendment. Section 170 of the income tax incentive provide is proposed to subject to clarify the modify such return shall be furnished and then whom the order of business reorganization applies to introduce these things, it's, which is not applicable to two million. I'm not going into discussion on that. It is proposed that an order of assessment may be passed within a period of 12 months from that of the relevant assessment year while the updated return is filed. As it is proposed that in cases where search and uh, uh, under section 132, 132 of this has been made. The period of limitation pending assessment shall be extended to further 12 months. Generally, assessment is to be made in certain period. In case of search 132 or 132, it will be extended to 12 months from the date on which the assessment is pending. It is probably going to empower the central government to make notification to already notified scheme regarding e verification dispute resolution, advanced ruling. They have got a power to make a notification. It is proposed that the time limit of furnishing a return is for the purpose to provide that in case where the search is information available on 15th of March in any phase, an additional period of 15 days shall be allowed for issues of notice. Suppose you got some information on 15 March, you'd be allowed for certain 15 days extra. It is proposed to verify that if there is any inaccuracy in statement of financial credit submitted by a prescribed reporting financial institution due to false inquiry submitted by the account holder. It is proposed to provide a penalty for which either if there is any inaccuracy in a statement of finance you know, submitted by a prescribed reporting financial due to false or inaccurate submitted by the account. 
submitted by the account order. Suppose I am the account order and I have been submitted wrong information that the person who has financially submitted the wrong statement, they would be liable for penalty of rupees 5,000. It is proposed to amend 271C to of the Act to provide penalty and prosecution in case of delays related to transaction in kind. It is proposed to 271C to of the Act to provide penalty and prosecution where the default entity is related to transaction of in kind. Suppose I have mm, not paid cash, but I have. Uh, I have swept some of my asset, like swept the goods, swept the property, swept something. In that case, TDS would be applicable. It is proposed to amend the time period of filing appeal against the Adjudicatory Benami Act within the period of 49 or the days of such order received. In this, the definition of High Court is also proposed to be modified. In case of Benami transaction, this would be allowable. The restriction on interest, detectable interest payment to overseas associated members. TDS on payment of certain non resident currently at the rate of 20, but the rate of 30 may be allowed. So, whatever lesser than TDS and would be the provision would be applicable. Okay. So, I think I have covered most of the transaction qua income tax because I'm going to take income tax later on. So, I'm not going into much of the detail in this, this case. So, I'm going directly into some of the discussion. Or some of the, you know, this budget is really an encouraging budget. This is a focused budget. Uh, the government uh, wants to in inclusive budget the budget, and the whole uh, whole economy should flow in such a way that it includes region all regions of citizen, youth, woman, farmer, OBC, ICB. This is they call they, this budget. They call it as as the Amit Amrit Kal budget. This is a very good period of this thing. And economic growth is estimated to be around 7%. COVID has been handled very well. And it can be seen that COVID in India, as compared to other countries, India has suffered very less in COVID. Though we suffered, but it's not as compared to other countries which have suffered very badly, not only qua economy, but even otherwise also. During, during COVID, they have, they have given free food grain to 80, 80 crore person in India for 28 months. G20 prosperity will be continue to be there forever. Uh, would be started working on it, okay? And uh, since 2014, they have said almost uh, per capita income is double. Today, India in nine years, we're coming from 10th to 5th. They want to make it number one. They try their best. And not only government has to do something, but we as a whole, we have to work on it. Uh, and if you look at EFO membership, it's been double. To 27,000 crore digital transaction has been 7,400 crore digital transaction at 126 crore. This is fast. If you look at the way till today the growth has happened, there are six major growth they have defined 11.7 crore house toilets have been made, which makes environment clean, safety for women. And there are n number of uh, good things happen because of household toilet. LPG connection is in the, because of that. Uh, environment issues also resolved, and it's very comfortable for women to have a um, uh, food preparation very easily. 220 crore uh, COVID vaccine is in it because of that. We have not suffered as compared to other countries in the world, and many countries have economically also suffered, including China, including USA, made so much, paid so much money to their uh, their citizens. The GDP is badly affected. But they are very rich country, qua resources and that, and as well the population is there. So if we have done the same way as they have done, India would have been gone forever. 47.8 crores the accounts are open because of that whole inclusive banking channel has been established. Very few uh set or sarafi or some transaction jo bolte jo kya bolte money lenders have been reduce insurance cover for so many people. Case transfer is this much. This is Columbus Sarkar. Now I'm going into the visionary statement of them. What are the way they want to work on? Economic development of women is the first priority because women inclusion would be the main priority if China has developed to this stage. This is because of their woman empowerment there. Women are there. If you look at 26 January, the uh, uh, the the parade they have taken care of uh, they have taken 
cognizance of women. Woman has also, IPL is also played. There are so many things where woman is empowered. PM Vishwakama Kausal Sanman for such a traditional artisan and craftsmen are not being taken into this thing. They belong to Schedule Cards, Schedule Tribe and OBC and women. They have been taken. Tourism is going to be a tourist development is very easy, very focused, very remunerative and a lot of people are included in this. For that, uh, like so many persons, so many individuals today go abroad just to move. In Kobula, India, we see a lot of you have left in India, which is yet to be seen, including if you go to Himachal Pradesh, you go to Ladakh, you go to Srinagar, you go to Kerala, and you go to Orissa. Name the place. India is, you cannot, you need not go abroad to see something. 99% things are available in that. Even some of the places you see, there is a, in Anurachal Pradesh, there is a there is a snowfall is also happening you can you can go and visit india don't go abroad you don't need to go abroad because why you are going abroad to show to your friends and colleagues that i have gone there to put it in fb there is no other purpose the priority is sevenfold this is budget inclusive budget reaching last line infrastructure and development unleashing potential green growth Green growth, our target is 2070. We are zero green project, and we are in we are very much uh, possibly ahead than some of some of the developed country because they have already have some project which they have to unleash and do it. In India, there is a lot of development pending, so the project which are coming would be a green growth project. So India is a possibly far ahead than uh, other in green growth project. Youth power, youth is the financial sector. The government, for sabka vikas, sabka, sab, sabka vikas, they are doing their best. There is a huge population. It is not always possible to see that what is what is done, what is not done. But we can see what is done also. And what how we can contribute is the first priority, which I will look at it like this. Inclusive development, they are doing their best. Northeast, Kashmir, Ladakh, Jammu Kashmir, Northeast, they have, they have made a special effort to make it on that. I had been to Kashmir, I had been to Gauhati, I had been to um, Debrugad. Uh, and if you see the development, I have been to even um, Lucknow and uh, uh, Nagpur. They are growing very fast. So uh, one of the person from when I visited Nagpur, he said he, he could come with a 400 kilometer distance from Nagpur within three less than three, around three hours. The road which is the development, Nagpur is their metro, metro station in Delhi. Now metro is also developing uh, Mumbai in its, to just a, such an extent that it is going to cover. So India is growing. The, the budget is also on the same line. So if you look at uh, Japan and China, there were whole whole country is covered with a mash of a bullet train. So anyone want to go anywhere, they can use the bullet train. So India is likely to have a, a very fast growth in that sector also. Agriculture sector, emergency health sector, Atman Nirbhar Horticulture Clean Plant Program, 2,200 crore has been allotted for horticulture. We are exporting a lot of horticulture products. Millet, she millet called Sriyanna. <coughs> millet is a product which is being, uh, which is easy for Indians to Indian farmer to produce it and send it for export. And many many people in uh, India also are using millets. It's called its Nam Jowar Bajri. Pele first previously it was considered it was, it was for Garib people only. Now it has been used by even rich people as a part of their health consciousness. It has been very, very famous now. So there is a v millet research organization is being capped at Hyderabad and even marketing is done and uh, government has allotted. This is agriculture sector. They are very much focused on agriculture. 20 lakh crore is allotted for agriculture credit and this is available to all the farmers, especially there is a huge budget for that and because of that they don't need to borrow from anyone else but the government is producing 
and that would contribute to the economy of a country. This is a huge step, 6,000 crore for um, <coughs> fishery. What, what, what they need to do in fishery, they create a fund, fish farming is done, and it's very easy to sell the product. And the fish pond is is developed in the area in which fish are being consumed. They are exported also. It's it's even uh, labor intensive also. <coughs> corporate sector. Some of the corporate sector is not computerized. Two thousand five hundred sixteen crores have been allotted. I'm not going to cover. I'm going to cover major part of it where. There is a huge nursing colleges. The 157 medical colleges are there. Today, and if you go to any medical professional, they would say that they are not getting qualified nurse. They are not they are not getting qualified technician. Government has made a special task force to create a to create the 157 medical colleges are established to have the nursing staff. Uh, my mission skilled anemia, I'm not going into that. Medical research has been done, pharma innovation, new, new new program to promote. Dedicated multidisciplinary courses for medical devices. There are medical devices which are very unique one. So there would be a, uh, there would be a special training for medical devices to be used. This is very important. And in our India, our teachers are not trained or they are not groomed properly. If they are groomed properly, the students are also groomed properly. So teachers training program is being meant. There will be a district institute of education training and develop vibrant institutes excellent for this purpose. National digital diary. Now the people are not reading books. It would be done through this thing. Reaching last prime minister of government, the ministry of trust affairs. This I'm not going into that, but majorly I'm covering a club a model <laughs> research institute, 38,800 teachers, 740 medical uh, model residential school, 3.5 lakh students they need to be organized. This tribal community would come into the mainstream. This is water drought for Karnataka. This is a political issue. PM Modi sub knows that. In India, there are so much residential accommodation crisis for low housing scheme. They have made 60% nuns the contribution to 79,000 crore. 66% increase in budget, a huge budget, huge uh, requirement in urban area for staying. So government knows where 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 India needs a fund. Bharat Sarad repository scheme. I'm not going to support poor prisoners. I'm not going to infrastructure investment. Is there is a huge infrastructure going on investment, uh, which is now being picked up. So our economy is going to grow at six percent. They are assuming that it will grow for another ten years. In this economic survey, they have given so much detailed data in how they will work, at what rate, how would be inflation, what would be inflation, what would be the barrel rate. And what would be an impact there they before coming to a survey? What are the unknown risks? What are the unknown risks? What are, these are all taken into consideration in a economic survey. They have they have given in so detail that it becomes a document on its own. And it becomes a, if anyone wants to have an economy in mind, go to the economic survey, these things. <clears throat> capital investor capital is a driver for economic job. Capital investment outlay has been increased steeply for the third year in a row, 33% to 10 lakh crore. Capital investment is increased. This is equal to 3.3% of GDP. This is almost three times the outlay in 1920 to this thing. So within this thing, the capital investment, the more the capital investment is there, the more employment would be there, the asset would be coming into use. And this is a huge investment that that's this. This substantial increase in recent is central to the government effort to enhance the growth potential in the job creation, uh, crowd in, in private investment, and provide acution against global headwinds. Effective capital expenditure. The direct capital investment by the center is complemented by the provision made in the creation of capital grant in ad. State the effective capital expenditure. The center is budgeted with 13.7 crore. 10 lakh year as a capital investment, 13.7 
4.5 percent of GDP. You look at how how greatly the investment is made. <clears throat> Uh, I have this uh, support to state government for capital investment. I have decided to continue 50 year interest free loan to state government for one or more year to spur the investment infrastructure and to incentivize them to complementary policy action, which is significantly announced uh, capital of 1.3 lakh crore. Harmonized master list project railway. Railway's capital outlay is beyond anyone's imagination five years back. It is 2.4 lakh crore which is nine times, 13, 14, 13, but in, within nine years, it has increased nine times. This is how there would be Vande Matram. There is a special good strain uh, corridor project. Uh, there are many, many projects which is going to come and railway is going to be lifeline of India. There would be more, what is the target of the government to want to reduce the uh, transportation cost uh, uh, to the industry is around 14%. They want to make it reduced to 8% to make the Indian industry competitive as compared to the world. Logistic expenditure on, on onward critical infrastructure project for last line, first mile connectivity in ports, coal, steel, fertilizer, food green sector have been added. They will be taken up 100 critical projects which would be monitored by, from PMO office and PM himself would see any of the project at random. So that everyone, every hundred projects are ready because PM can't see each project, but he would select one and go in detail about that. So that all the hundred projects are going, whatever critical are stuck at PM, uh, PM office directly handled to even state government or whatever may be. This, this, they will be taken a priority business of 75,000, including 50,000 crore. 75,000 crore project we want to see that it is being implemented very fast. Regional collectivity. There would be every regional connectivity would be helping to uh, connect to the nation. Sustainable cities of tomorrow. Cities are encouraged to go live. Municipal cities are ready for this urban infrastructure project. 10,000 crore is made available for this purpose per annum. Urban urbanization, urban sanitation. I'm not going to unleashing good governance. You you see where how investment are done. You see, the whole country is making different AI. I tell you, in AI, in in uh, I have uh, I have I have made, written an article on AI, where in China, few of the listed company out of hundred are multi billionaire company are only AI company. Out of that, the person who are below thirty are so many. AI is going to be the country. AI is the uh, AI is qualified men is required. Qualified data is required. When data is required, data needs to be tagged and it has to be used. Then AI is the number one company. AI is going to be the day to come. KYC process, they are planning to simplify one-stop solution for NADD. MSME, I said, Viva uh, uh, there are two schemes which are going to that. So uh, there would be MSME, those who are stuck in this thing would be unleashed. E court. Today, in E court, in any court, you have to go, plenty of to go there, defendants has to go there, lawyer has to go there. And because of that, a lot of uh, these things, if E court is there, there would be a lot of saving in terms of time and money. And it requires 7,000 crore. It's going to be there. FinTech services, 5G. Once the 5G comes into picture, the whole, the way of the business is going to change. Today, what is the advantage? India is among the few countries that are ahead in 5G. What are the disadvantages? It is not being used by many countries. Even it is not reached to many cities, many states, many villages. Once it is there, 5G is uh, use would be more effective. 5G needs to, 5G is like a gem of it. That would change the whole, uh, whole the way we are doing a business. Energy transit, this budget 35,000 per capital investor towards the energy transition. Energy storage project, I'm not going into detail. Whatever I have detailed is want to show that where and how the country is growing, how the economy is going to grow there, how you can, can use the uh, 
your way of doing the business. The renewable energy, 13 GB, I'm not going to discuss this. Well, you know, I, if indoor, if you took an example of indoor, indoor mayor, it's a very clean city. All the garbages are collected and all the garbages are made into a profitable business. The waste to wealth. If you look at the indoor as an example, find a new waste to wealth plant under galvanizing organic biogagro research done. The scheme will establish for promising circular economy. This will be include 200 compressed biogas plant, including 75 plants in urban areas, 300 community. Once anybody wants in any, any, any total investment at 10,000 crore, I will refer in part B, 5% of it. So if somebody is doing at a national level, somebody at the village level can do without even any support of government. They can make money out of this, collect the waste, do this and have a have a money. Over next three years, we will facilitate one crore farmer to adopt natural farming. For these 10,000 bio input resources are there. What they're saying, one crore farmer would be using in next three years the facility of not using any fertilizer, only biofertilizer. This would make the things quite different. What they're saying is true, possible, and implementable. <clears throat> I am not going to Misty, I am not going to Amrit, Darosar, coastal shipping. If we have a very vast coastal facility, okay, I give you an example of Mundra project. Mundra project is plotted in a place where there is this salt land, land was available. The, 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 the pot, the person who made a Mundra pot has filled a plot which is, which is, it's expensive than the buying of a land. And then they filled up and this project is possible. If somebody start doing and creating the uh, coastal route, say in Gujarat, Rajkot to some places which is a near place, if they started initially, they have to make the investment. But over a period of time, even transport, car and all this can be moved from one place to another place, which is called coastal shipping, which is feasible. Vehicle needs to be replaced because the uh, India need to go green. The government has decided to have government, uh, including vehicle and even ambulance, who needs to be removed. Youth power, I'm not going to skill development. Skill development in India is far, far lagging as compared to other countries. Skill development, if you invest, there are persons required in the industry, but we don't have a skill manpower to work on this. 47 lakh national apprentices is going to be come in with a tourism, government transfer 50 destination, which would be uh, innovative ideas. They would be virtual connected, physical connected, virtual connected, tourist guides, high standard. These are once once the tourist destination, you, you see the unity of statue. You see the Somnath, you see the Kachran. They are developed in Ahmedabad. There are many places which can be developed. Only thing you required, uh, some security, some infrastructure, railroad, uh, airport, and then rest would be done by the people. Because tourist, when tourists come, the industry would develop. There would be, and, and it is labor, it is like manpower and labor intensive. So there would be, it's possible. And India is so rich. They up not this. Why you go abroad to see other people that you are going to say, same thing, same cheese, everything is available in India. Why you need to, you need them all, I'm not going to say. <clears throat> Credit guarantee scheme is developed for MSME. MSME needs to develop the guarantee, which is around, for that government has allocated 9,000 crore, which would allow a collateral free guarantee of 2 lakh crore, which would cost, reduce the cost by 1% which is possible. National financial information, financial check, gift city and uh, IFSC city, they want to date, uh, they want to organize at one place. Because of that, it will develop very fast. I think I have covered so many things in so many periods. <clears throat> uh, digital payment, 76% of transaction. Is in 91% of value. Did you continue to be find a value wide acceptance in 2022? Fiscal support would be continues to be done for digital public infrastructure. 
Ajadi ka Amrut Mahotsav. We don't go into that because of that. But what what they're going to do? A woman or girl who want to put a two lakh rupees deposit, she will be entitled to put deposit up to thirty first March twenty five. She will get she can put it for two years, and rate of interest is seven point five percent. Senior citizen who were putting money up to rupees fifteen, the the limit is increased to thirty lakhs. They were putting in money monthly income scheme up to four point five lakh to nine lakh. For individual jointly with somebody, nine lakh to fifteen lakh. So these are the three uh, investment option has been increased for the uh, for the person who are not able to judge how to make investment. Interest interest failure for fiscal management. I'm not going to fiscal deficit will be allowed to three point five percent of GDS GSDP. Uh, among them, 05 percent will be to be used with power sector reforms. If you look at uh, the estimate, revised estimate, today revised estimate, I'm not going to the figure, today revised estimate is 6.4% of GDP. And in 23-24, the 5.9% the, the, uh, of GDP is the fiscal deficit. And 25-26, government has made a target that Fiscal deficit would be around 4.5%. They're going according to target. The fiscal deficit is also under control. With this, I'm not going into any indirect proposal. But one thing is one thing is one shedding of uh, shedding for diamond have been exempted from tax. Certain duties are reduced, and cigarettes are increased after a period of three years. Mobile, which is being manufactured not manufactured now it is being hugely manufactured they have decided to reduce certain duties on this thing marine products lab ground precious metal metals i'm not going into that the inflation is under control which is going to be as compared to all over india with this uh, i conclude here and i'm going to take uh, next lecture we have, we have a next next lecture on 7th by Hiran Pathak on GST on 8th. I'm going to talk on income tax section by section in detail for CA and they can use it for this. With this, I'm concluding the session. Thank you very much.